Hey, Pop. What's going on, world? It's your man, Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, Mobile Mechanic and Roadside Services. I am working on this beautiful 1993 Dodge Ram 1500, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. To be completely honest with you, I'm running out of ideals. Everything's been replaced, everything's been done, and I'm having an issue with it stalling while driving about 60, 70. Cranks right back up, uh, fuel pressure's good, spark's good. Don't know what's up. It's a brand new engine. So, we're going to make a quick video on how to check a cold on a OBD-1 Dodge truck. Guess we should do this right after the intro. Promise you'll catch me. Promise you'll catch me. All right. So, we have this Chilton's electronic controls manual. It's old school because online does not always work. And I don't have their special tools. So I'm going to show you guys. So on this particular vehicle, this is the uh, this is not the diesel. This is actually the gas 318. Uh, according to this, it tells us to hit the ignition on, off, on, off, on, off, on within five seconds of driving. So I'm going to show you all what that looks like here. One, two, three, four, five. That check engine light right there should go off. And then we start to count the blinks. One, one, two, that's 12. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 12 and 55. So you're gonna get long pulses. So like one, two, three uh, flashes, it'll pause and then it'll go five more or two more, however many, but that's what you're looking for. Then there's a long pause and then it starts over again. And looking inside of our, now, this is an old chart for this is 88, but of course, this is a 93. Like I said, that first one that we got is a 12 indication. Check engine lamp, no. Okay, I guess it's not. Battery feed to the single module engine controller. SMEC all the time when the initial switch is on. At the moment, we have the same one. Huh. Well, that don't help me. So 55 indication again. Check engine light indicates engine diagnosis. Yep. That doesn't help me all <laughs> that much. So I figured I'd at least make a video then to show you guys how you actually go about um finding a trouble code in OBD1 Dodge. I'm scratching my head on this one. I'm going to keep on digging. I'm going to keep on going. So uh, I hope you find this video useful. And if you have a Dodge, good luck with that. Good luck with that. I'm more of a Chevy guy. Until next time, talk to you soon. Peace.